Many techniques and assays in the lab require to prepare a serial dilution, whether it is for determining the protein concentration or to gradually decrease the cell count of a solution. A serial dilution is nothing more than a stepwise dilution by a constant dilution factor. Before we come to that, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't done it yet. Thanks for all your support. Most serial dilutions are either tenfold or twofold. In this example, it is demonstrated how a tenfold serial dilution can be prepared. Tenfold dilutions have a dilution factor of 10. That means each dilution step contains 10 times less of the content than the previous one. For a serial dilution, it has to be decided whether the content should be diluted in water or a specific medium. The first step for preparing a tenfold serial dilution is to fill up the tubes to 9 out of 10 parts. In this example, this could be a volume of 9 ml for an easy calculation. In this case here, the content that needs to be diluted will be from a stock solution. To reach a dilution of 1 to 10, 1 ml of the stock needs to be added to the 9 ml of water. This makes a total volume of 10 ml now. After properly mixing the 1 to 10 dilution, 1 ml can be taken from this tube to the next one. That milliliter contains 1 to 10 of the stock solution. With the additional 9 ml of water, this makes a final concentration of 1 to 100 when equally distributed. Now this whole process is repeated. 1 ml of the 1 to 100 dilution is transferred into the next tube and with another dilution factor of 10, this makes a 1 to 1000 dilution. So 1 among 1000 units in this tube contains the original stock solution. Again, the process is repeated by transferring 1 ml of the 1 to 1000 tube to the next one. This gives a 1 to 10,000 dilution after resuspending carefully. If necessary, the serial dilution can continue from here. Some assays, especially for determining bacterial concentrations, go from 10 to the power of minus 1 to 10 to the power of minus 7. That means they include up to 7 steps. Other lab methods require a serial dilution that is twofold. The only thing changing in this case is that the medium or water is as much volume as one takes for the previous solution. 1 ml water, 1 ml stock and from this mixture 1 ml is transferred into the next tube and so on and so forth. With this I wanted to thank all of you for the recent support. You really helped the channel growing. If you have Twitter follow me at Henrik's Lab and make sure to like this video and leave a comment down here if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.